92.7 WOBM. Good morning, Shawn Michaels in with you on this Thursday morning. It is December 13th, and I'm joined right now by Bob Shea. He's the president of the Toms River Downtown Business Improvement District, attorney and developer, and we're here to talk all about Legion Square Village. Good morning, Bob, and welcome. Yes, good morning, Shawn. Thanks for having me. Saw you the other night for the tree lighting. It was a chilly night, but a fun night with everybody it, it out was. there. It's always a, a terrific night uh, uh, and a uh, kind of the opening event for uh, December. Uh, for the bid uh, opportunity for a lot of the community to get together. We had probably close to 400 people show up with their children, and it was uh, just a, a wonderful night, beautiful weather, although mm-hmm. a, bit, a bit cold. Yes. If you haven't been to downtown Tom River, be sure to check out the courtyard there between Town Hall and the uh, library. The beautiful tree is lit every night, and it, it looks absolutely gorgeous. So we're talking about Legion Square Village. This is a brand-new apartment complex here in downtown Tom's River. Tell us about this. This is a big undertaking, a redevelopment, if you will. Yeah, it really is, and uh, I have to give credit to my clients, uh, uh, Joe and Phil Seller, and their, and their families. It's a, it's a family run business. They've been in business for uh, many, many years. Uh, Joe Seller is the patriarch of the family uh, as a developer uh, or really all over the state, but uh, decided to um, uh, invest you know, quite a bit of money and, uh, and time and effort into their project at Legion Square, which is the uh, location of the old uh, uh, American Legion building, if you recall. Mm-hmm. And uh, they purchased it several years ago uh, and uh, had a vision um, and uh, came up with a very nice architectural scheme, site plan presented to the planning board and uh, pr- approved and, and ultimately built, and, and uh, they're up and operating at this point, I'm glad to say. Now, they are open. There are some residents, but there is still lots of availability for folks who are looking to relocate here to beautiful downtown Tom's River. Yeah, yes, there is. There's, there's 55 units in the building. Uh, at this point in time, I would, again, I uh, would venture to guess there's probably 25 to 30 percent uh, uh, e- either committed, uh, there there are uh, apartments that are occupied at this point in time. Uh, the rents uh, are ranging between thirteen to sixteen hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, there are uh, several uh, uh, affordable units that are required to be part of any apartment complex now in the state of New Jersey. There's about eleven of them, and uh, there is going to actually going to be a lottery. <coughs> excuse me for those units uh, in and around January fifteenth. Uh, so you really should call Legion Square if you're. If you feel you're um, you're eligible for that, that's something that uh, that is uh, is really beneficial to the the the, the ultimate uh, uh, owner or renter, should I say, of, of those units. Uh, but the other units are all market rate units, um, and they're very very beautifully put together. Uh, parking available uh, on site, which is a, you know, a little bit unusual, as you know, downtown, and uh, and close to our businesses and shops. And we're as my other hat as the president of the. Uh, Business Improvement District, we can't, couldn't be happier uh, than have such a, um, uh, a, a pristine project uh, come before uh, us and be built and uh, provide really an opportunity for uh, you know, future residents to enjoy downtown <clears throat> and also have uh, our business owners benefit as a result of that. They're, we're going to have probably close to 110 perhaps more people that will now be able to be within walking distance of the shops and the restaurants and uh, and the library system and and the transportation facilities. So we're very very excited about the uh, about the project. I think it was, it's the start of uh, a lot of things uh, that are going to be happening in the future, and uh, we uh, we feel that this is going to be a, a linchpin to our redevelopment program downtown. You know, when you think about it, uh, when you talk about you know downtown areas, the bigger municipalities here at Ocean, Monmouth County is the Jersey Shore, if you will. You know, it's tough to put that many into those, you know, just limited space in all the downtowns of the area. So to be able to say that there's this availability for a lot of families to live and, uh, you know, get that downtown experience because you're within walking distance of a lot of great things. And it just makes for, you know, a very uh, nice life when you have so many amenities nearby. This is a great thing for downtown Tom's River. It is, and, and the demographics are such at this point in time that people, uh, you know, all of, really over the state, and that could be seen by uh, what's happening in Red Bank and Jersey City and uh, and uh, and, and the various uh, communities up north where I grew up, uh, and, you know, there were po- points in time where people moved from those locations and wanted to get into the suburban area, but now people seem to want to gravitate towards uh, the inner the cities themselves, and our city, obviously, is Tom Zur, and... Uh, I'm a little bit prejudiced, but I think Tom's River has more to offer uh, from a from the point of view of beauty than uh, than probably any town in the in the state of New Jersey as far as, as far as where we're situated with with our 
beautiful river, uh, location uh, within 45 minutes of Atlantic City, within an hour of Philadelphia, within an hour of New York, and, and still have uh, an opportunity to, um, you know, to have a relaxed atmosphere in raising your children. So uh, I think the, with the redevelopment uh, projects that are, uh, that are contemplated down here in the redevelopment zone that has been worked on very diligently by the uh, township officials, um, with the with the bid, uh, they, they're you know we've been intricately involved in that project. Uh, we're looking for more of these type of projects to come in uh, apartment uh, complex, perhaps condominiums, uh, with a retail component below it uh, that will allow for other businesses uh, to come in as well. You know, so I, I think when you see a project like this where uh, the seller family has invested so much of their time and energy and money. Uh, in, uh, in, in being, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the start of really something terrific that we're hopefully going to be, that's going to be happening downtown. We're very, very excited about it. And it's a beautiful project. If you haven't had the chance to go over there, uh, I would uh, tell everyone to at least go over there and visit if you're interested. We're having a uh, grand opening, as you said, uh, as you know, tomorrow uh, for the facility. And uh, it's an opportunity for anyone from the public to come on over and uh, come through with the building and check out the units if they so desire. Yeah, we're talking with Bob Shea, he's the Toms River Downtown Business Improvement District President, of course, also attorney and developer here in the area. And, you know, tomorrow is the big ribbon cutting. So sort of Toms River welcomes officially the Legion Square Village. That should be very nice. And as you said, folks want to come by and see what this new project's all about. They can do that as well. So it's a great chance for them to check it out firsthand. It, it is. And it's uh, just so everybody's aware, it's at 12 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, at the uh, Legion Square apartment uh, site, um, there are going to be a lot of people from the uh, uh, council there, as well as uh, from uh, the freeholders uh, and, uh, and and the various professionals in, uh, that have been involved in this project, as well as I'm sure some of the professionals from the township, uh, as well as members of our business improvement district, just to really kind of welcome uh, the sellers uh, in uh, and, and as a recognition of what you know what they have uh, achieved and what. Uh, the project really means to Tom's River. Uh, mm-hmm. It's a, a magnificent site, and, and very frankly, uh, it, it's going to be a location where, we, you know, we feel some of the uh, younger um, uh, people in the area who are starting out, uh, you know, who uh, are in, uh, perhaps in various professions, whether they be working in the hospital, in the schools, and things of that sort, maybe they don't have enough money to buy a home right now. This is just a wonderful place to start your family and start your uh, your life. Uh, it's uh, and and uh, we at this point in time we have some different age groups that are uh, that are coming in as well. Uh, some people have ch- uh, chosen to come here and use this as their uh, uh, their place rather than having a home and be responsible for grass and things of that sort uh, and maintenance. Uh, they have chosen to uh, to live here for their period of time and perhaps uh, use this as their jump off jump off point to go vacation in different parts of the country. Well, everyone's very excited for the uh, big grand opening tomorrow, the uh, ribbon-cutting ceremony at noon. Stop on by. Contact uh, Legion Square Village if you want to get more information about uh, what is available there. It's just a wonderful addition to downtown Tom's River. Bob, thanks for coming in, talking about it, and we'll put all this information up on our website, and we look forward to seeing you guys out there for the ribbon-cutting tomorrow. should be fun. Thank you very much, Sean. All right, we'll be back. A great addition. It's Legion Square Village. We'll be back with news, traffic, weather. It's all coming up next as we continue our Thursday morning right here on 92.7 WOBM.